Hello, has anyone ever taken the Bible and showed you how you can know the for sure that you're going to heaven? The Bible talks about good news, which is the gospel. The gospel is simply this, that Jesus Christ, God's Son, died for sinners. And uh, to explain that in a little bit more um, understandable terms, let's, let's turn to the book of Romans. Uh, chapter 3 verse 23 it tells us about good news and about bad news the good news is about God the bad news is about us uh, in Romans 3 23 it says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God most of us know that in our hearts that we have lied cheated stole done something to break the Ten Commandments so we know that we have all sinned um, and so that's pretty easy to understand. Sin simply means missing the mark, uh, breaking God's law. It would be as if you were uh, trying to throw a rock at the North Pole. Now, some of you may be get it, able to get it farther than others, but no one will be able to actually throw a rock all the way to the North Pole. So we've all missed the mark. Just some may have missed it farther than others, but it doesn't really matter because we have all sinned. Uh, the second bad news is probably even worse, is that the wages of sin is death, Romans 6, 23, which means what we've earned for our sin uh, is death, and not just physical death, but eternal separation from God and everything that's good, because everything good comes from God. So the wages of sin is death, eternal death, uh, and that's the, that's the bad news. It means if we work today and you got $10 an hour, you may make $80 today. And the wages of sin is what we earn when we sin. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So the good news says that even though our wages we've earned uh, is eternal death, God has a gift, something you can't earn, something that uh, you didn't do anything uh, to deserve. And it, this gift is explained in Romans 5, 8, where it says, God demonstrated his love towards us, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The gift that God gave of eternal life came through the death of his son, because the scripture says that the soul that sins must die. It must not only die physically, it's already dead spiritually, but eternally must die. And so God sent his son to die in our place. He demonstrated his love by letting his son die for us. Um, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The second good news is that we can, by putting faith in him, it says, if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God has raised him from the dead, we shall be saved, Romans 10, 9. And so it says that it's with our mouth and with our hearts, we must truly believe that Jesus Christ, God's Son, died for my sins. That's the good news, is that we become righteous by putting faith in Jesus, by trusting in Him, by calling on Him. You say, but I know that's for other people God will say, but not me. I've done too many bad things. Well, Romans 10, 13 also says that uh, whosoever or whoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. And so it gives you a promise that if you call on God to be saved, you will be saved. Not because you're good enough, not because you're not too bad, but the, bad, the baddest of all can be saved. Because you're not being saved because of what you've done, because the wages of sin is death, but it's the gift of God. It's eternal life through Jesus that Jesus, God's Son, already paid the price 2,000 years ago on a cross. He died for your sins, that God could accept you into his family, and you could have eternal life and live in heaven forever. That's the best news of all, is that you take time to turn your life to God, that you, A, admit that you're a sinner, you confess your sins, and say, God, I'm a sinner, I need to be saved, and believe that Jesus died on the cross for you, and that was enough. That's B. A, B, and C is to continue to follow him the rest of your life. 
you turn your life to him and begin to follow him and know the joy of following Jesus, knowing that no matter what it costs, it's too small a price for what God has given you in eternal life. And once you put your faith and trust in Jesus and you follow him, uh, get in a Bible church that teaches the word of God, uh, get around believers who encourage you in your faith, uh, read your Bible every day, pray every day, memorize the scriptures, meditate on them, talk to God every day, keep the relationship with God the most important thing in your life, and heaven will be waiting for you. God bless you.